Um, well, there's this book. It's kind of like the Bible of card magic. It's, uh, it's called Expert at the Card Table, right? It's, it talks all about sleight of hand, all about um, different gambling techniques. It's very old, but it's, it's a classic. And so one day I was, I was flipping through this book, right? And I was reading it and I got to one of the pages and I had this weird like feeling come over me. I know it's, it's like weird. I don't know how to explain it, but I just felt something about what I was reading, that excerpt or whatever. And I was like compelled to take a picture of it <laughs> because I don't know. It was like one of those feelings where it's like, I don't know if this is like good or bad. I don't know what it means, but it, it feels important. So I actually took a picture of that little excerpt, right? And then I had it on my phone for a while and I was like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe what happens if I don't have my phone and I get this feeling or I, cause I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But, you know, I just wanted either maybe other people to be able to get it on their phone in case I didn't have mine or like, I didn't know again what I was gonna use it for, but I knew there would be something. And right now, Mo, in this moment, I'm feeling that same feeling. Okay, really, really. facts. <laughs> And I don't know what it is, but anyway, what I did is I just figured out how to like attach a URL to a photo so you can just like anyone can Google it, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what I did. And again, like I said, this moment feels special. So Ava, here's what I want you to do. Just open up Safari. Okay. I'm going to give you a link and it's going to pull up a web page, but what I, I don't want you to scroll down at all because I don't want to give anything away yet. Just open whatever it comes to. Okay. So the link is tiny host t i n y h o s t okay dot p w okay slash ottawa that was my creative am i allowed to see this yes as long as you just don't scroll down i just want you to read what you can see excerpt from expert at the card table by s w erdnace yeah yeah that's the author and then it says the date 1407. And do you see a, you see a little bit of the picture, right? Yeah. yeah. You just see a little. Okay, leave. Just don't go any further. But that's just I want to okay. prove to you. There's a picture there. You've loaded it, right? That's the picture. That's the picture I, I legit took and uploaded. Okay, Mo. Now here's what I want you to do. You know a deck of cards. You're familiar with the deck of cards. There are 52 cards in a deck. I want you to just start letting numbers come into your head. Think about this feeling that this connection that we have right now. Let cards start to come into your head. Get a feeling, start to get some suits, see some colors, and then start to narrow down those cards, okay? Just let it let it come naturally to you. I want you to get one card in your head. Are you getting one? Yes. You have one. I do. All right, Mo, I want you to tell us, <laughs> what's that card that's in your head? Ten of spades. The ten of spades. <laughs> Are, you, Are you sure? You don't want to change your mind? I'm sure. Okay, Mo, <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, Ava, I want you to scroll down. Scroll down, look at the picture and just read some of the words that you pick up. <laughs> yeah, <we're good>. What? <laughs> Wait, what? It says once the ten of spades is blank. <laughs> yeah, like that. Hold on, just for proof that no one says it's fake. Yeah, yeah, show him, show him. Let me flip this. <laughs> Ten of spades. Ten there of spades. Go. There you guys go. That is the power of influence, Mo. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Dude. <laughs> That's crazy. What is good, guys? It is Reed, and welcome back to an awesome video. Today I have another trick tutorial, but this one is a little bit different. This is gonna be uh, one of my other favorite genres in magic, which is phone magic. I do three genres of magic, generally speaking. I do card magic, I do phone magic, and I do mentalism. So these are things to me that are the most practical. All I need is a deck of cards, a phone, in my head and I love that because I can do them mostly anywhere I can I can these things feel really real organic everyone has a phone these days so phone stuff is really really strong so I'm gonna share one of my favorite favorite phone tricks now there are a couple different types of phone tricks there there are phone tricks that are gimmicked apps and then there are just literal tricks either with the physical phone or the physical UI of the phone using either features that people don't know or stuff like that so this falls into the category 
of Magic Apps. Now, I love Magic Apps. They are some of the best tricks you can get. And if you know the king in this space, it is Mark... Mark Kirstein. Mark Kirstein. Mark Kirstein. Now, Mark K is uh, an amazing app developer. He's got so many apps. If you guys do not know who it is, go check him out. I use currently three, four. I use four of his apps, this one and then three more. And one of the best tricks of all time, I don't wanna spoil it because it's too good. But if you guys look up Mark K and you do a little bit of research, you will know exactly what trick it is. One of the greatest tricks of all time performed by David Blaine. Performed by myself, amazing, amazing trick, super killer. Anyway, this trick is another amazing trick. This guy's apps are amazing, super easy to use, very well built. And this is his app called WebFX. Now, WebFX is great. And the reason I'm, I'm, I'm teaching something with WebFX is because, you know, with most of his apps, the instructions are there and there's nothing for me to teach. I, I can't teach them, they're paid apps, but this one is free, okay? And this one has a lot of customizations in the what you can do with it. And so I think that my performance is very powerful and possibly the most powerful performance I think that you can come up with with WebFX using the free version. That's the caveat. Uh, I use the free version of WebFX. There is a Pro Tools that does cost, but I think you can pull off an incredible effect with the free version. And that's what I'm gonna teach you guys in this video. One of my go-to mentalism effects and it is so killer, a great phone routine. Now this is a great taste. If you've never used one of Mark's apps, this is a great taste of what his other apps are, but his other apps are just levels above, right? They are paid, but totally worth it. Um, with this app, if you get the Pro Tools, there's different input methods and different photos you can use. But with the free method, you basically have two input methods and two photos that are free. And I use one of those and one of the input methods and I will explain to you guys why this trick is so powerful in my presentation. A million different things you can do with it, a million. But I think my presentation is really, really strong, really cool. And there's some things you wanna keep in mind when you're doing this kind of trick. And so I wanna talk about that in this video. Go get your phone. I don't know if it's on Android, to be honest. I know it's iOS. You'll have to go check. I don't think some of Mark's apps are definitely not on Android. Maybe all of them are not on, not on Android now that I think about it. Sorry if you uh, have an Android, but go to the App Store, download WebFX, and then come back to this video and I will explain where we go from there. All right, so let's get into the breakdown. First, we'll start with the setup in WebFX. So I'm gonna do a little screen recording and I'll put it off to the side here of what I'm talking about. So first things first, you wanna open the app and you're gonna have a website. Uh, you're gonna create, uh, I believe, a little bit of a sign-in or you create the, it's been a while since I've done this, or you create the link, but you're gonna get a link. It's gonna be like tinyhost.pw slash whatever you put, and that's gonna be your link. So now you have your own little tiny host website that anyone can go to. Now, if you go into the settings, you can see a couple of options, okay? You can set a, a name, contact info, and all that sort of thing. And that's great if you're doing a gig and you close on this and then they'll have that open with your contact info at the end, just a little idea. But you have your contact info and then you have the picture and I think you have a tagline. Uh, and yeah, so I put in my name, put in my contact info. Now there's two photos. You can either use a photo of a deck of cards with the, the, that's just the bottom card that you'll see, or you can use the book text. Now that book text is amazing. So I would highly recommend you choose the book text option. So what it is, it's a photo, as you can see here, hopefully, of a book with text in it. And in the text, there's a little excerpt from the book. Now, what book is this? Expert at the card table. I'm pretty sure, I'm 90, I'm, I'm sure it's expert at the card table. Um, I haven't actually looked at that page in the book, but it, it, there's a funny story about how I came up with this trick that I'll tell you in a second. So. That book is amazing. So select the book image. And what it is, is again, it's a random piece of text, but in there, there's a playing card written in the text, okay? Set that as your image. And then what I do is I write, uh, you know, excerpt from expert at the card table and then put a date that's a few months in the past, okay? So that's all gonna play into this story. Now, another thing you're gonna wanna play with is you're gonna wanna add spaces in your description. So you write the little expert at the card table with the date and you add a bunch of spaces below and above so that you end up with kind of what I have here. And what you want is you want them to be able to, when they load 
the web page on their phone. You want them to be able to see that there is an image, but not reveal, not let them be able to see that card. So the image has to be far enough down that they can't see what the, it's, the, you want them to be able to see some of the text, but not the card, okay? So play around with that. I have it set to like the new sort of iPhone, which is my phone. So like iPhone 10, 11, 12, um, you know, without the home button, it'll play really well. But if you test it on older phones, like the eight and stuff, it'll still be fine. It'll still be out of view. Even the smaller phones, it's even better. They might just have to scroll down like a little bit just to see that there's an image there, but that's important. So just set it for on your phone or the phones you're gonna be performing on the most that they just see the, the first few lines of text, but not the whole thing, okay? Does that, hopefully that makes sense. So now you have this website built and you do this all in the app. And yeah, now if we go to input methods, there are two input methods. There's the tapping method, which you just have to tap the card. So if it's seven, you tap seven times. And then uh, what do you do? I think you swipe up or something like that. I don't use that one, so I'm trying to remember. And then you tap like in the chase order, so either once for clubs, two for hearts, whatever, and you, you type in the suit. And what it does, the app changes the website. It changes the photo. So it's great with the deck. It changes the photo of the card. That's really nice, really visual. But for some reason, and here's why I think the book is so much better than the deck picture. For some reason, with a photo like that, people can wrap their head around changing a photo. Like the photo could have just switched. You could have 52 photos and the photo changed. You know, people might not always think of that, but it's a lot more logical of a conclusion. Oh, it's easy, the picture just changed. With the book, even though you could draw the same conclusion that the picture changed, but the thing is, only the text is changing. Only that small word, which is incredible. You can't, you, you like, it looks like a perfect picture of a book, but somehow that little text changes. It's just the text that changes, right? Just that little one or two, three words of the card changes. Everything else stays the same. And that's what's amazing. Because no one is gonna think that just one word of a book that is, it's a picture of a book. Like the book is set in stone. The book is a real physical object that is printed. No one's gonna think that that, like there's some, I don't know if you guys feel what I'm saying, but there's a weird disconnect where there's no way that's like just the word is changing. There's no way that that text can change. It's cemented in the book, but a picture, yeah, you could just change the picture. Do you get, get what I'm saying? It's way stronger in my experience and in my opinion. No one ever suspects that there's any sort of foul play Photoshop changing when it's a printed book. Even though it's a picture of a printed book, there's just some weird psychological thing. And that is why I think that's killer, killer, killer. And now the, the story and the effect I'm gonna present is even better. So back to the inputs, I wasn't finished. The other input is the clock input. And I prefer that one because it's faster. So how that works is you have like Jack, Queen, Ace, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, whatever, uh, and then king, and then you have the suits in the middle. So basically, it's really easy to remember because you just think of a clock. If they say four, you know that, it, you basically have to remember that I remember the six, the three, the nine, and the 12, right? So if they say four, I know the four is next to the three. So you swipe over towards the three. What that does is, as you can see, it'll, it'll highlight the two, the three, and the four. So it highlights three numbers. If you swipe this way, it'll highlight two, three, four, this way, five, six, seven, this way, seven, uh, uh, no, eight, nine, 10. And then this way is Jack, Queen, King, and Ace. But it's really easy to remember because if you think, if they say six, you're just like, okay, well, six is down, so down. If they say five, well, five is right next to six, so down. And then you just have to swipe in the direction of the number. So again, we'll go with uh, four. So four, we're gonna swipe once towards the three. So it'll highlight two, three, four. Down to select four because four is below three, right? If you just think of it in the clock, where is it located? If you're at six and they call seven, well, you swipe to the left because you want the seven. And then you've selected the number and then it's simple. The suits are in the middle in chased order, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, and you just swipe in the direction that you want to get that suit. Super easy and it's much faster than the tapping. And that's what we're going for here, okay? So that is your setup and that is sort of how the trick, how the effect works, okay? There's this website that's created with your image and you use one of the input methods. I would suggest the clock method. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's a lot easier and faster. 
and then you can input and change that image to whatever you want. So go through, set up your website. You can change it if you don't like how this looks, but for this effect, this is how I do it. Now, let's get into the effect. So it starts a little something like this. I start with a story. Most of this effect is me talking, okay? So I have my phone on me. I don't have anything open. I don't have web effects open, nothing. It's just in my pocket. So for this trick, I tell a bit of a story and here is that story, okay? So it goes a little something like this. So I have this book, right? It's, it's kind of like the Bible, the holy grail of uh, card magic and that sort of thing. It's called Expert at the Card Table. It talks a lot about gambling, cheating, sleight of hand. It's a really great book. It was written well over hundred years ago, I think 1902. And I was reading it uh, a few months ago, right? And I was flipping through the pages, practicing some of the moves, you know, refreshing it. I've read it before, but I'm just getting a refresher. And I don't know how to explain it, but like, I felt something really, really weird on one of the pages. Like I started reading like an excerpt in one of the paragraphs. And I had this feeling come over me like, really like a sense of emotion, like a sense of something important, but I didn't know what it was. And I had this weird sort of impulse to take a picture of that little excerpt. I know it's weird, but I thought maybe I would figure out what this meant if I took a picture. So I took up my phone, snapped a picture of it, and uh, yeah. And then I had this picture on my phone, but I had the thought, I was like, you know, what if I don't have my phone on me? Or, what if I want someone else to be able to access this picture because I have no idea why I'm feeling this, but I know it means something. So I have no idea how to do this, but I just wanted to be able to upload like the picture to like a URL. So like anyone could like search it on the internet. I just wanted to upload it to the internet basically. Um, but you know, I just wanted a specific URL. I wasn't trying to do that. So I Googled and I found something that's like a tiny host. I don't know, you might've heard of it. And basically I uploaded that picture to the internet, so now it has a URL, like, and then you can just search the URL and pull up that picture. Now, do you have your phone on you? Yeah? Okay, just take that out for a sec, and just pause in the story. At this moment, I will take my phone out as well, and I'll say, I just want you to, to go to Safari for a second. Uh, do, you have, do you have Safari? And what I do is I open my phone, I point at Safari, and when I turn the phone back to me, I open WebFX, drop the phone to my side and I just casually hold it in my hand, okay? Back to the story. So I say, you know, it's really weird. I didn't know when or if I would ever use this image, but right now I'm starting to feel that same feeling and I have no idea what it means, but there's something about that image that is tied into this moment. So do you mind, I don't know, let's just, okay, I have that image. Do you mind pulling it up on your phone? Um, the link is uh, tiny hosts. T-A-I-N-Y-H-O-S-T dot P-W slash, and then I tell them what's after the slash. So you, at this point, you just tell them whatever your link is, they search it. And as they're typing it, I say, um, but just, just open it and don't scroll down. It's important. I don't want you to scroll down. I don't want to like influence you or anything. Just, you know, just open it. And, and what do you see? What does it say? What can you read? So then they'll read, they'll say, read fairy, excerpt from expert at the card table, and the date. And that's really nice because the date makes it feel like this this did happen months ago. And that's part of the story. We, we want this to make it seem like this picture has just been existing forever and it hasn't changed, right? Kind of helps with the, the psychology. So then they have it open and I say, I want you to notice, don't scroll down, but I want you to notice, you can see a bit of the picture of that book, the picture I took, right? You can see the picture, you can see a little bit of the text. There is a picture there, right? They'll confirm. Now this is a great moment and probably the most important thing. You want them to be able to see that picture and know that it's there because if they see it, they won't think there's any way that it changes because we're gonna literally leave that phone unlocked, open on the table or in their hand right in front of them the whole time. They're gonna be able to see part of that picture the whole time. And what's brilliant is since the whole picture doesn't change, it's just a little bit of text, they can't see that it changes. They just see that picture there the whole time. It's been loaded, it's, the picture is loaded, it is set, it's done there. There's no changing it in their mind but the app's amazing because it will still change the picture without them being able to see it. It'll just change the text, right? So now that's super important. If you want to do this, even with the other effect you want, in my opinion, to have the picture already opened before they even name the card so that there's, it, they can't think that it would have changed, right? So that's really important. So then you either have them set it down where they can see it or hold on to it, but just, it's important you don't make them, you don't let them scroll down yet, right? Now, if you run into the problem where it's a smaller phone or a different size, sometimes 
picture will load a little bit far down so they actually can't see it. And just say, just scroll down a tiny bit just so you see the first few lines of text just to prove that there's an image there, right? That's all you need to do. So now they have this image open, I say, you know, it is feeling really strange, but I don't know, let's try something. Um, I want you to think, think of a deck of cards, right? There's 52 cards, all these different numbers, all these different suits. Start to let different numbers and suits sort of pile into your mind, okay? Just do it all based on feeling. Let everything come to you, because this moment is very special. I'm telling you, I don't know why, but it feels special. Let all these cards come to you. Let, let all these cards start to sort of narrow down to a few different cards and cycle them in your head until you settle on one card, okay? So they do that, and I say, all right, I just want you to name whatever card it is you settled on. They say the four of clubs. The second they say that, I take my little thumb that is down at my side and I swipe to the right, I swipe down for four, and I swipe up for the clubs. I get the, the vibration, I get the little taptic feedback, it's a double little vibration to know that it, it's set. And the second I feel that, I hit the lock button on my phone and it slides very casually into the nearest pocket and I bring both hands back up. So all that I did for that whole trick is have the phone after the justification is I pulled it out to show them, you know, I want them to go to Safari, what I want them to do. Or when you say, do you have your phone on you? It's a good moment to take it out. As I show them, you know, go to Safari, I turn the phone back and you should know where WebFX is on your home screen and just quickly tap on it as you drop the phone to your side. And you're just hold then you're just holding the phone. It's casual, you're just holding it, nothing's happening. You could do have an accomplice do this if you want, but I mean, I usually do it solo, so that's the way I go about it. So the work's already done. That picture has their card. Now there is an important thing. If you took that picture, there's two ways you could play this. You could play it like you don't remember exactly what the picture says, so you don't know if the trick worked. But I think it makes more sense that if we're doing this and we took that picture, we know what card is written there. And to make this feel as real as possible, we wanna react a little bit when they name that card. So they say four clubs, you're like, are you serious, four clubs? And you don't wanna change your mind. They can change their mind if they want. That's a good thing to include as well. Ask them if they wanna change their mind. But once they've settled, you say, no way, four, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Again, I don't know how this works, but I'm telling you there was a moment. Scroll down on that picture and just read what that, what that page of the book said. And they'll read it, they'll start reading jumbled lines and eventually they'll get to it where it says four of clubs. And you will get a crazy reaction. I'm telling you, it is incredible. And then your contact information is right there. And if they ever wanna hire you, it is brilliant. So that is my performance of WebFX. That is my go-to. I think the book is just so strong because for some reason there's no way that you could have messed with that through the internet or through computer means like Photoshop or whatever because um, it's text, it's just really weird, but it's amazing. So this app is great, play around with it guys. Uh, go listen to my presentation style again, if you like it, I think it's great. You could use any book you want, I suppose. Now, here's the funny story. I picked Expert at the Card Table just because that was magic book I was reading a couple years ago when I came up with this trick. So I just started doing this trick and saying that was Expert at the Card Table. And it, that if you read the text, it is also about gambling. So it just made sense. Then like a year later, I was looking through the other pictures that come with the Pro Tools and you'll see there are other ones with Expert at the Card Table in it. So this book is Expert at the Card Table, but I actually, when I came up with this, I had no idea that the excerpt was actually from Expert at the Card Table. So it's a total coincidence, which is kind of funny. But uh, again, there's a, I'm not saying this is the way to do it if you don't want to. There's a million ways and a million things you can do with this app. It's great, a million ways to reveal. And uh, you know, I would always do this with a freely named card because you have the power to. Right, so go for it, it's, it's super strong. But I think there's something about this presentation that's just amazing, amazing, and so that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. One of my favorite mentalism tricks, and it's really easy to do, and it's killer. So yeah, go review my presentation again, and uh, you know, add your own spin, change it, customize the website how you want, but uh, that's a great idea, and, and go try out this effect. I'm telling you guys, you'll get amazing results. What's up guys, so I just finished shooting that performance, and I just thought I would film a few of my thoughts and a few quick notes after having done the performance, because I'm shooting this a few days after I shot the video. Um, so for a few important points that I want to point out. Now, normally when I do this trick, I really try to make it seem real. Like I really try to make it feel like I'm not kidding, like I'm being dead serious. I don't tell them this is a trick, nothing like that. In this case, um, I cut this from the video, but 
I do, you know, these are my friends and they knew I was calling them to do a trick. So I had to take a little bit of a different route. And all I did there was tell him, I'm gonna try to influence you using real psychology. And so listen to my story. That's kind of the way this went. So it was still very believable because I did that. The only difference is he believed the story was to influence him. Whereas normally I try to make it seem like that story is 100% true, okay? Um, a few other things you'll notice. I make them load the web page well before he says the card, right? And you can see how legit that looks when they see the picture there already and all they have to do is scroll down. Like it's been there the whole time, how powerful that is. You also see how important it is to make it feel like I sa I'm saying I took that picture because then it establishes to them that it's a real picture of a book, which it totally looks like. So the biggest thing there is me convincing them that that photo is a real photo that I took. That sells the effect 10 times more. So let me just reiterate, it's really important for this kind of effect that you make it feel real. Don't make it feel like this is a trick because then they'll be looking for the trick. You wanna sell this as more of a real psychological or whatever kind of plot you go with, but it's happening. Whatever you're saying is happening because if you, if you get into telling them it's a trick, then they'll feel like, okay, something must have happened, something must have changed this or that, right? And in this video, you can see how much they genuinely believe that the story I'm telling is real and that that picture is a real photo. And that's really the most important thing is convincing them that that photo is a real photo. And it's great if you can convince them that you took it. And I emphasize that it's the picture I took, it's the picture I uploaded. And I emphasize that the picture is already loaded on their phone. They already have seen that picture. So in their mind, there's no way it could change. They're just gonna scroll down, right? And you can see because of how convincing it was, how amazing the reactions were. Now, in terms of uses and other ideas, I did wanna to touch on a few things. Um, you know, there are some a lot of uses, like I said, and I just want to give you a few little ideas to keep brainstorming off of. So, for example, that card, the other picture is, looks like this. It's just a deck with a card face up on top. So you could do a, an any card or um, uh, ambitious card routine, say, or any sort of card routine. Let's say ambitious card. So you always want to make sure you have them name the card in this case, not pick one because we have that option with the... Um, with the web effects. So let's say they say queen of hearts, right? You take the queen of hearts out and you do whatever sort of uh, ambitious card routine that you want, push that card in the middle, and you have it come to the top. As your finale, what you could do is just flip that card on top, put the deck down and say, I wanna show you something amazing. Maybe you had them load the web page before you started. Then you say, check that picture. They scroll down and they see the exact image of what's sitting right in front of them. You know, and it's been there the whole time. And, and they see their card that they named in an image, which is exactly how your deck is being left. So you could end a lot of tricks with that. And I think that's a pretty cool idea, you know, and, and this is a great kicker for any sort of named card effects. So there's a lot of ideas, play around with all the ideas, get creative. Um, but I know you guys will come up with some awesome stuff with this. This is just how I like to do it. So I hope you guys love that trick and you play around with it, get creative. Let me know what you guys come up with, what ideas you have. Shout out to Mark K for all his amazing apps. Make sure you guys go check all that stuff out. WebFX is a great free app of his. Most of his stuff is paid, but well worth it. I wanna welcome again all the new subs. Um, filming this quite a bit in ahead of when I'm gonna drop it. So I don't know how many we're at. Let me take a guess here. This is gonna come out probably in a week. So let's say 7.56. Thank you, 756 subs, that's my guess. I appreciate all of you, welcome. And um, well, I'm glad we hit 750, future me. <laughs> all right, so with all that said guys, again, thank you for all the support, I hope you love this trick. And uh, yeah, drop a comment, you know, drop a like, subscribe, hit that bell. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.